At midnight, persons will not be able to enter Jamaica by sea or air as the ports will be closed for two weeks. While supporting the move, opposition leader Dr. Peter Phillips is questioning why the government took so long to take the decision. Andrew Lady reports. Of the 19 confirmed COVID-19 cases in Jamaica, 14 are imported. It means most of the persons who tested positive for the coronavirus in Jamaica enter the island through one of our ports. It also means the government could have reduced the threat to Jamaicans if the decision to close the ports were taken earlier. On Friday, Prime Minister Andrew Holness admitted that he delayed the decision to give the diaspora more time to come home. It was always on the books that the airport would have to be closed. It would happen, and Jamaica is not the only one doing it. But we were giving hints and subtle markers because what you don't want is to have a panic and everybody rushes in. That way you definitely could not control all the people coming in. But people would have interpreted, would have seen the messages that we have put on 14 days quarantine, and so there are persons who would have come in. So what prompted the crucial decision now? As the numbers grow, they are going to grow from imported cases. And so therefore we really have to now control that because we are now moving into a phase where you have local spread. Now you don't want to have imported cases, local spread, and then community spread happening at the same time. That would totally stretch our resources. Meanwhile, the Prime Minister made a call for Jamaicans to abide by the restrictive measures in place, despite the discomfort it might bring. I know it, it, it is going to cause great dislocation. We understand that, but everybody has to also understand this is an emergency. And it is not, as we say in Jamaica, a joke thing. Because some people are treating it as if it is a joke thing. Some people are being weak fence. Right now, we need strong fences to keep the virus contained. Outgoing passenger traffic and cargo will be allowed during the period of the closure. Andrew Laidley, TVJ News.